but this guy has been sitting up there for two and a half years, two and a half years, almost three years. As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave today and we have a bunch of orders going out again today. But I want to talk about for just a second before we start what I typically do in order to get items moving out of the store that have been there a while. And I think some of you might be surprised to hear me tell you that basically I don't do anything. So we had a bunch of old items sell today that I did not have promoted. I did not have them on sale and they've been in this store a long time. So things do sell if you have them listed correctly, if the pictures are decent and the price is good, they will eventually sell. Now I'm not saying don't put things on sale and I'm not saying don't promote items from time to time. I think there is a time to do that and I occasionally do that. Matter of fact, I did it this morning with a couple of items that I thought it would be helpful to help get them moving a little bit. So far it hasn't worked and at the same time these items that I haven't even looked at in a year sold today. Let's take a look. All right, this is not one of those items. Matter of fact, I've been selling quite a few of these lately. I'm down to three left and it was not a great buy. I paid like $1.50 for this and sold for $9. So, but they were multiples. There's only three left, I think. But uh, I think there was like 11 or 12. So we're making a few dollars on each one. And I have the perfect box. They're really easy to ship. So I guess I don't regret it too much. But it still wasn't a great purchase. But, you know, anytime you can get Richard Petty looking young and, uh, and on the uh, board, you know, I figured I couldn't pass it up. And I thought I could get like $10, $11 for these. Ended up getting 9 So that's okay. Speaking about getting things moving out of your store, here's a fleet... And a man, this one's going off to Steven. Steven, thank you so much for your support. We appreciate it. Now, here's an item that's been sitting in the store for a very long time and sold, but this one's kind of unfair and not a very good analogy for what we're talking about today. This one's been in the store, though, for getting close to a year is how long this one's been in the store. I think I got this one from Tim the Toy Man at a garage sale in the early spring last year. So this one sold for eight bucks and it went to a viewer this one went out to Casey, and Casey says, Hey, Kevin, thanks for the content and the knowledge. My eBay sales have been steady since receiving an enemy hand. <laughs> See, I told you these things will get you moving. Anyway, this guy sold for 8 bucks, so we do appreciate it, Casey. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this game. I remember Mad 95, boy. That was the one. And it is still in the box. It is not brand new, but it is in the box. So hopefully you enjoy it. I don't know about your Goodwill, but our Goodwill has a dollar bin for t-shirts. And I can't quite figure out why some go in the dollar bin and why some get some get hung up. But this one I thought would be one that would get hung up, but it wasn't. I found it in the dollar bin. And it's pretty cool. Snoopy. I love Snoopy. He's funny. Nope, not today, it says. And it is a size medium. I just thought it was a cool shirt. And I looked up a comp real quick, and it was selling for like 12 bucks. I listed this one for $12.41. It cost me a dollar. So do the math on that. We're looking at $2 in fees, $1 to buy. So there's $3. I realize there's tax, but $3. This will cost under $3 to ship, but let's say $3 just for the sake of math here, since I'm a history teacher. That's $6 in cost, and it sold for $12.41. That's $6.41 in profit. Let's say with material and all the stuff involved, gas getting there, let's just say it's a $6 profit. $6 profit. This is a good item for a new reseller to sell and to put that price out there fairly cheap and to get good turnover and to get good feedback to build that uh, feedback up. This is a really good one to, uh, to help do that. So at any rate, nothing on the back of this shirt and Snoopy's headed on out of here. Another reason that guy is good is because you can't break a t-shirt. 
So if you're a new reseller and you want good feedback, positive feedback, take low risk items, sell them quickly with a good price and get them shipped out really quickly and you should build up your feedback. Although everybody doesn't leave feedback, but if you do enough of those, your feedback should build up fairly quickly. All right, this one is going out to Katrina. This one's going out to the nurse flipper and I know you have a YouTube channel. So Kat, we do appreciate the purchase. And she says, so I don't forget, and he can arrive before the new shed. She's got a shed coming in. Forgot to tell you that. I do remember now. Also a second to give away on my channel. So you bought two and you're gonna give away one on your channel. So if y'all want a free chance at a giveaway, there's two chances now. You can go to the Commonwealth Flipper channel and look up the video entitled Top 10 eBay Flips of All Time and comment what the number one flip is in that video. Comment that in the comments below and you'll have a chance on the Commonwealth Flipper channel to win one of five Inamans for free that we're giving away. Or you could go over to the Nurse Flippers channel and she'll be doing a giveaway pretty quick it sounds like. So thanks so much and uh, thanks for giving it away as well on your channel. Hope somebody gets a chance at that and enjoys it. So thanks so much. All right, now here's one of those items I'm talking about. So this is an Oster blender. I don't know if you remember those Oster blenders, but they the early ones had these glass jars. I used to sell these all the time. I used to get 15 bucks like that, and they would sell quickly. Uh, the, there's lids for them. Sometimes I would get I would sell the lid separate and the jar separate because people would break the jar, but they still had the lid. And sometimes they'd lose the lid and they still have the jar. So I just piece them out, and I'd end up making more money. But this guy, for whatever reason, took forever to sell. And a lot of those listings now have, have kind of depressed their value a little bit for these old glass jars. I'm not quite sure why. But this guy has been sitting up there for two and a half years. Two and a half years. Almost three years because I bought it, I think, at the end of the summertime. At any rate, this was an item that I forgot I had. I, I, when, it, when I saw it sold, I came down here and I'm like, I remember it being up there and I had to dig behind a couple things up there and I found it. I'm like, whew, glad that thing's still there. And you know, I don't use a skew system around here. So I don't know. I, sometimes I just hope I get lucky. I just remember where I put things 99.9% .9 of the time. I don't know. At any rate, this guy did sell and it sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. And it's not that hard of an item to ship. Just got to make sure there's plenty of space or I might even double box this thing and make sure that uh, the dimensions stay pretty small. But this is the kind of thing you definitely don't want to break, even though it's 10 bucks. But 10 bucks plus shipping on that. So, you know, we'll make like seven. I paid a dollar. Uh, I usually wouldn't pay more than that for something like this. But, you know, after fees and stuff, we'll, we'll make about seven dollars profit on it. All right, now I'm not sure this is going out to a viewer because there's no message, but I have no doubt that it is. So, Mike, thank you so much i do appreciate it and this is the twisted radio waves dr demento jerry garcia music and interview music and interview i've talked about it many times i probably still have about 700 or so of these left and we're well into the profit on them but i sell them really cheap and i can't even remember what they are and there's two two purchases here so i can't quite remember it's at like six dollars and ninety cents or something like that i can't remember but we're gonna send them out here with the Inaman as well. So Mike, thank you so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy this. And I hope this guy helps you sell stuff and get your stuff out of the back end of your store. So thanks so much. All right, this is an item that kind of reminds me of being persistent at garage sales. You know, I like to pick a garage sale clean. I like to come in after the competition's already been there and pick stuff out of there and make money. And so I saw a bunch of people out the day I picked this up that I knew they had already been there. I saw a couple of them walking away from the sale. And I'm like, I'm gonna go find something in there. And this is what I found. It wasn't amazing, but I saw it and I'm like, hey, that might sell and look up here. This is an autographed sweatshirt. This is autographed by Daryl Jarrett. Now, can I authenticate it? No, I can't authenticate it, but this is just the type of thing, the way it is, the way it's signed, what it's signed with. Nobody would fake this thing. And I didn't sell it really with the autograph in mind as being the big selling point. I only put 20 bucks on this thing, but we got $20 plus shipping and I only paid a dollar for it. All the clothing there was a buck. And when I see that low price, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go find something. So this probably would have sold for close to that anyways, but it's really nice little Chase Authentic sweatshirt. And it's a size medium. 
and I was pretty happy with it. It took a long time to sell. It's been hanging around since this summertime, but it finally sold. So $20 plus shipping. It's a nice little like $16, $17 profit. It's going to go out padded flat rate, I believe, because it's going to be over a pound. All right, this might be my last Panasonic until garage sale season hits again. I had a pretty good year. Usually I'll pick up four or five of these and sell them. Looks like this year I picked up like eight or nine of these. I call them blue lines. They're not what they're called. This one's an 8450 is the model number on this one. Had no remote, so I put the AV cables with it, tested it. It's pretty clean, a few scratches here and there. These usually are good for about 40 bucks if you take good pictures and list it correctly and tell them, hey, this thing's working, guaranteed. I think it's better to use that language. You need to be sure that it's working, so test it and then tell them. And one way to kill two birds with one stone is, is to tell them that it's tested, it's working, it's guaranteed. I do not do partial returns. I will only do a full return. And then make sure that you take pictures that will have the serial number on it and all that stuff. So you make sure they're shipping back the right thing. So anyway, $39 plus shipping. I would have probably paid five bucks for that thing. So it's a nice little profit. And I have no problem shipping those. I've shipped so many of them. Some people are scared. But go over to Commonwealth Flipper and check out one of our shipping videos. We have some VCR shipping videos. We'll turn this one into a shipping video. So if you're new and you like to watch me ship all kinds of different things to get ideas, I by no means am I saying I'm the expert in shipping. I'm not. But I've done it for a long time. And I think for new people to, to just watch somebody ship and to see how they do certain things is helpful. And I've also learned from people who've done this a while, they watch those videos like, hey, maybe you should do this. And I've changed the way I've shipped based on what people are telling me with some feedback. So I appreciate your feedback on those as well. I just want to give a quick thank you to somebody who sent another plate to my P.O. box. And it's been a while it's been in there. I don't think I have a Pennsylvania one yet. So we're going to use this one as a custom skew eventually out there in the Commonwealth cabin. Or we'll put it up as a decoration and you'll always be able to check this one out. And this one was sent from, it says, at Urban History. I have to check that out. You know, I am a uh, history teacher, so that sounds neat to me. I dropped that thing. If I can remember, I'll put the crashing glass sound effect in right there. Anyway, this one, it says, Kevin, thanks for the videos. This is for your man cave. So this is the cave down here. Maybe we'll put it up in here, but we'll more than likely put it out there in the Commonwealth cabin. And this is from Elisa. Elisa? Alyssa? going to go with Alyssa on that one. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you to send that and we really do appreciate it and hopefully you'll be able to see this for years to come out there. All right and we have two more of these going out real quick before we tell you goodbye for the day and this one's going to Melissa and this one is going to Lisa and we really do appreciate it. There's no messages on here but both of you left a kind message through the regular messaging system and we do appreciate it and we hope you enjoy these guys and we really do appreciate every purchase out there i don't think you guys realize just how amazing it is for us you know i'm a teacher my wife doesn't go out of the home to work so ebay has made ends meet for us for a long time five of us in this family and three animals too for that matter not to mention my daughter's got a hermit crab i always forget about that thing but i mean how much does that cost at any rate, we are very appreciative. When we make these sales, it really is important to us, and it is so kind of you, so thanks so much. And we haven't forgot that we are still keeping a tally of how many viewer sales, and we're going to give a dollar for each viewer sale to Travis and Lisa. When they get back in here and finish this cabin up, we're going to give them that and give them a wonderful night out, and we're keeping a tally. I just haven't, rem I just haven't remembered to show you, but I'll write it down r real quick after today, and we'll give you an update on the next show. So... Thanks so much. We appreciate it. And don't forget to go over to Commonwealth Flipper and check out those shipping videos if you want to check those out. And go over to Commonwealth Flipper and check out the top 10 flips of all time video if you want a chance to win one of these guys for free. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Hey, we got one of the homeschool hustlers with us. This is Reagan. And Reagan, did you take a picture of that or did Mama take a picture of that? Me. You did, didn't you? Was this one that you helped her list or was this one not one that you helped her list? No. But you took the pictures of this. What is that thing? Punkety Rock Star.
Punkety Rockstar Popple, and I think it's 1984, and we got this from the Plush Nirvana sale or the Mount Plushmore sale. And I've mentioned it many times. Maybe if I can remember, I'll link it, but sometimes I forget. If you go to the garage sale videos, find the My Pet Monster thumbnail, and you'll see me buy that stuff. And we have made a killing on it, and Popple sell really, really well. And that one sold for $35, which is awesome. And it sold out of the Homeschool Hustler store. And that means Reagan gets a dollar. She gets to save a dollar in the bank. And she gets to donate a dollar. And Reagan, I heard that you and Turner made Valentine's last week for the old folks' home. What kind of Valentine's did you make? We made, like, we colored on them and did hearts and stuff. Did you, like, cut them out in a, like, you fold it in half and cut them out in the yeah. shape of a heart? What color were they? Red. Red. And Seven then four. did you write your own little notes on them? Mm -hmm. And you know, somebody commented that they got an Intiman the other day and they had your signature on it. Have you been signing some of those cards? Yeah. So maybe if you're lucky and you buy an Intiman, you'll get one that's signed by Reagan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that little uh, picnic basket behind there, she fills those up with uh, Intiman in those packages. And they're already ready to go, so it saves me time. But you know what, Reagan? Mm -hmm. That thing is empty. Is? I'm going to have to get you a whole <laughs> nother box. We're selling those so fast. We'll be gone. They'll be gone by summertime. I thought they'd take five years to sell. All right, let's take a look. Tell them goodbye. Bye. All right, Reagan, let's take a look right here. And we have sold, so that's $26 in profit. So after fees, after shipping, although that's probably going first class, that's going to be $1,435 so far from our $156 purchase. So we're getting close to $1,300 in profit, and we still have a ways to go. There's a lot of stuff we haven't even listed yet, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, are you going to take the pictures for it? Yeah. All right. You're awesome, baby. I love you. Love you, too.